Melanin Voices is a podcast geared towards building a community of those on a journey of self-discovery. We create space for guests and listeners to share their stories about their exploration of life, appreciation of the good, and how they overcame certain bullshit to get to where they are. Every week, we take a dive into topics that affect each of our lives at one point or another. Hopefully, by hearing our voices, we will give you the courage to live authentically. I'm Mariah, also known as Mariah Amazing. And Yuna, hey! Now, now you are tuning into Melanin Voices. voices. Ready? Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Hey, y'all. Hey, how are you guys doing? How y'all doing? <sighs> we can it's spring. Yeah, right there. Hey, everybody. Hey, live. Hey. We're going live again. Um, so first, let's see. Let's get into this week's episode. Um, let's do a recap. So last week, we um, talked about being fulfilled outside of a relationship is that what we discussed yeah being um self-fulfilled outside of a relationship like as far as like platonic Mm -hmm. romantic honestly any way you are (laughs) self-fulfilled i'm looking at my live mikhail saying hi so i can't like ignore hey mikhail hey (laughs) Hey, girl hey happy anniversary happy fifth anniversary kel and sean um but yeah, so being fulfilled outside a relationship and just kind of just self fulfillment all around. Yeah, so that's what we talked about last week. If you want to catch the episode, just go back to the previous one. Um, and then let's answer the who did that question. Is that what it's called? Is that what we came up with the name? Yeah, who did that? Who did or that? Who, yeah. So the question who did this, I guess. The, so the oh, question whatever. was. Um, who was on the dance team in high school, Mm -hmm. which surprisingly enough, it was me. Um, yeah, I can't dance to save my life. Anybody can tell you that, but I, um, I'm not going to say my home, I'm not going to say my home situation was like toxic or anything, but I don't know. I just wanted to get out the house and I feel like that was the perfect way to do that. Just to join a group or a club or something. So that's why I joined the dance team. Yeah. Um, I did that for a year. And then I was a cheerleader the next year for like half of a year. So, yeah, that's me. Oh, you keep on saying you can't dance, but maybe you could if you were on the dance team for that long. Nah, everybody made it. <laughs> everybody who tried out made it. So I don't, I don't, yeah. Do you have a new question? Maybe everybody who tried out was good. Yeah, maybe. We'll go with that. All right. Um, I guess my new question <laughs> For this week's episode would be, I didn't even get to do them on the story, so I do apologize. I have usually have interactive ones that I share, like, oh, this was this, this is the answer, but I didn't do that this week. So, I will you. give you two who did that. I ain't apologize, shoot. We forgive you anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, one um, who did that is, who... Well, wow. one, one one between uh, who between the two of me and Yuna was in college one day, was rushing home from class and peed on themselves. Which one was it between the two of us? <laughs> <laughs> Devin is pointing at Yuna, and Yuna is cracking up. I'm not gonna say anything. That's why I have to remain very like indifferent when I speak. Cause I don't want to like give away an answer or mm-hmm. anything like that. So that's that's it that's one of the questions and then the other question i guess i'll put this on the story so you can guess and then the other question is i guess i'll let yuna ask the question because okay. we know each other pretty well and so she can ask one for behalf of herself or for me okay. you'll never know hmm i don't know let me think this is an easy one uh which one of us doesn't drink alcohol yeah, I think that's a pretty fairly easy question. To <laughs> but so that'll know, show like, how much I y'all listen to us, okay? We're yeah, we're exactly. testing your loyalty to us. So yeah, we're don't te- answer. Putting you to the test. Gotta push it, push it to the limit. Wow. Limit, Cause we're in it to win it. Which one of us likes High School it? Musical? Oh yeah. And you know what? I've never even seen the show. I just <laughs> seen the um the commercial with Corbin Blue, and I thought his curls were so popping. So I used to always just like every time he would come on TV, I'm like, damn, what is his curl routine? Or you know, just where does he get his haircut at? Where Looks is he really, now? I don't know. But please and blessings to everything Corbin Blue. He seemed like a real unproblematic king. So hopefully he's doing well. Yeah, and rest in peace to that child um child star from Disney. I never, I don't, Sally, I don't know him. Um, but yes, yeah, so recipes him. Looked like he was very loved by everyone that he came across. So 
I don't know his name, but I know exactly who you're speaking of. Yeah. Um. So I have a question. Um. And this is wait. This, we have to talk about our weekends. I don't want to. Or not our weekends, but our weeks. Go ahead, girl. You go first. All right. So that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um. This week was exhausting for some reason. I don't know. I just. I'm fucking. I was really tired this week, and like, I don't know. It yeah. was. It was, but it wasn't like awful. You know, I've had. I've had some new, new experiences. Um, that were. If you care to share with I us, I don't. All right. Well, we'll take that and keep it going. They were sexual. It's like. Oh. <laughs> just kidding. Just no, I actually. Kidding, so just to show a little transparency. Um, I've uh tried a dating app just to like open my realm of dating. What dating up app a was little it? Bit. It's called Hinge. Yeah, it's called Hinge. Um, so swipe I'm be right? honest. Is it swipe left or right? I'm sorry, Adam. Um, I don't think you swipe apps. at all with that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that one you don't swipe at all. You just reach out to the person if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. So I went on a date with a guy from there, and um, he was a cool guy, but just was just, it your type? Nah. It was. I mean, it was a fine date. Nothing was wrong, but it's just he just. There was no spark. What? There was no spark. And um, he's he was a mixed race person, which I'm. He's listening now, like, wow, that's crazy. I, I, I doubt it. Her. I doubt it. Um, he he's a mixed race person. Um, and he never used like the word black or white when he talked about like his family because his dad was black and his mom was white. Mm-hmm. And I I don't know. I just it just wasn't there. So, so what did ooh, he say? He just said he's mixed makes race. Makes me feel or? better. Um, he, I I think I asked him about his family dynamics mm. and where he was from. He's from Minnesota, which I don't know how many people from Minnesota. Not gonna lie, me either. I don't. Besides him, I don't think I know anyone from there. Gotcha. So, um, but I mean, it was fun to date someone who I would have probably never went on a date with otherwise. Yeah. Um, I think with dating, you learn a little bit more about yourself, your likes and your dislikes. Yeah. Um. So that was like a plus for this week. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What about you? How was your week? Uh, my week was trash. Uh, low and high. Well, dang. <laughs> she came from my. Life. I know y'all could tell she's very low energy today. So I'm not being dramatic. She's her week obviously was trash. But how was your week? It wasn't trash. It was recycle. Recycle. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> um. My week was cool. It was all right. Um, it started off with some really high highs. My mother, who if you all listen to the show and follow me on social media, I posted about it multiple times. She recently graduated from Metro State University with a bachelor's in healthcare administration. Whoop, whoop. Go, mom. So go ahead, mommy. And she had an internship. So she's been working two jobs and going to her internship. So she works at least 70, 80 hours a week. So if I ever complain about being tired... And I'm more tired than her. So, um, anyways, long story short, her internship offered a position that pays almost twice as much as her job currently. What? Which is amazing, but there are no benefits to the position, mm. which I think I will have another episode about this later on. But I think that companies that don't offer their um, employees. The employees benefits or the option to even purchase benefits is really I, it's disgusting because like people have to. Um, what if anything happens to them? You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about like, oh, people are using this because eat healthier. Of course, you should eat healthy. You know, that's your health care coverage right there for some people. But also, like, what if something happens to you where you eating healthy won't help? <laughs> like, you need some surgical help. You need a surgeon and you don't have any coverage. What do you do from there? So I just really think that companies should reconsider adding benefits and coverage to their plans when they hire employees, especially with the people who don't pay well, you're paying fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour. How are anyone gonna afford healthcare coverage outside of paying for their rent and their necessities of life? But anyways, she was offered a position, so congrats to mommy. She worked really hard for that. Um she really loves her position. She actually gets to make her own position, which is really cool. Um she'll be networking with African American women, trying to get them um Grants and scholarships wow. for her company so they can uh, spread the awareness of ovarian cancer and African-American women in the community. So she'll be like a community networker. Anyone who knows my mom knows that she is a talker. Yeah. So her going into the community and networking would not be a problem or an issue. So I'm super excited for her to do something that she absolutely loves to do and is really great at doing. 
Um, so that was good. And the same exact day, I got that news. I also got the news that I got a response back from a sponsor that I reached out Which to. Which is amazing. So I went out on a limb and reached out to a company that I've used before. Um, it's called Exposed Cosmetics. They make vegan cruelty free um lip gloss and just lip lippies in general and i reached out to them waited like a few days i'm like oh i guess this is the bad sign and then i was like you know what maybe it's not a bad sign they're not going to reopen their um actual business into september they're taking some time away which i think is amazing um because every business needs that like time to themselves whether it be to rebrand or to relaunch whatever it is or just to take care of themselves they took some time away so i'm like maybe you know um that's what it is and sure enough, that's exactly what it was because they reached out to me a few days after that, like a week later. And they were like, hey, you know, we would love to work with Melina Voices. Thank you for even offering um, that to us. And I just felt really um, blessed because it's a company that I actually enjoy. And like the people were very, they didn't seem like they were being harassed. They were actually really happy to be part of the Melina Voices family because so we are to them now. So... I don't know. I was really happy. That was the highlight of my week. Those two things happening. But yesterday I woke up really, really disheartened. I don't know what was going on. Like I was not in the right mental headspace. Um, so I decided to apply for um, a therapist because I don't have benefits, which I talked about this just a few moments ago. Um, cause at my job, not only do I not get paid that much, but I don't have, um, benefits to where I can go see a therapist, which I was able to do at my old job. So at my old job, <laughs> I didn't have the luxury of like liking my boss or liking, um, the work environment. And then now to switch over to like, I love my boss. I like the work environment, but I don't have benefits. So it's like, I feel like I'm choosing one or the other, which shouldn't be the case. Um, but that is happens to be the case. So I try to apply and I had to go through this entire run around just to be told no. And it really pissed me off because it took hours for them just to say no. And it took a lot of driving. It took a lot of energy. And I was already woke up on the wrong side of the bed. So it just really, not even wrong side of the bed. I'm going to say wrong side of the head. Hello, new phrase. Um, cause I was not in the right mental space for that day. And to have to do all those things, those logistics, just to be told no, really like pissed me off like big time. So, um, after coming to terms with that, that was the case. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let it ruin my day. But it had already ruined my day. So, today I am pushing myself to not be ab as upset as I was yesterday. Because yesterday was, I was really upset. So, yeah, it was good and bad, I guess, my week. Long story short, good and bad. So, not trash. Because there were some good in there, too. Have you thought about going back to the Denver Health Insurance? I have them, <laughs> and they weren't able to help me. It's a long, they, a long story short, but I literally talked to like five, six people yesterday mm -hmm. for, just for them all to be like, oh, yeah, you don't, your, insurance, your insurance with us, your coverage with us doesn't help. I guess we'll talk about it offline because I don't want to bash any company, but they weren't able to help me. That's weird because I had their insurance, and I was able to see their therapist that they have on site. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'll have to just do. I yeah. just have to like books. Yeah, I couldn't go anywhere else. I had to go to the one. Yeah, that absolutely. There. But I actually, I'll okay. talk to you about it later. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, so exactly. I'm like, so the whole time you guys could have just said this was the case. Yeah. Because I keep telling you, like, I literally lead the conversation with that. So there's no like way that you can waver and think anything else. Because I led the conversation with saying, this is what I'm looking for. How can you help me? So that was that. So I'm that sorry. really upset me. Yeah. But it's like you said, I'll just go the roundabout way and just booking with an actual therapist there, which mm -hmm. should have been told from the beginning, which I'm just long story short. It was really frustrating and um, disheartening to have to go through all of that just to be told, oh, hey, we don't do things this way. Yeah. When you could have been told that initially. A lot of time wasted, a lot of energy wasted. And frankly, my dear, I didn't care to go through that. Yeah, dealing with customer service is... It's frustrating, like, because at some point you're getting frustrated. I'm already frustrated, so where are we going to get from here? Yeah, sometimes I feel bad because after I've already talked to two people, the next person I talk to, I'm pissed. Like, I'm yelling yeah, I'm at... Yeah, I'm already mad. And yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even yell at them, but mm -hmm. it was annoying because I felt like there was no emotional... They didn't give a fuck. Yeah, basically. Basically, they didn't mm -hmm. give a fuck. And I didn't even yell at them. I was like, I know you can't do anything for me, but can you please get me on the line with someone who can? Like, yeah. Can you please like redirect me or can you just please tell me no? I just want to hear no so then I can go about doing things a different way. But don't keep me on the phone, putting me on hold, putting me on hold just to tell me, 
oh, we're going to figure it out. I don't know. Just put me, just say no. I don't mind being told no because I know how it is. Mm-hmm. And you're like, I do not have a definite answer for you, ma'am. Or this is the no answer. Here it is. No matter how hard you think it's going to hit me, I'd rather you just say no, we cannot help versus, oh, well, maybe. Don't give me maybe if you know the answer is no. So, but yeah, that thing. is how my yesterday was. So I'm it's sorry. still kind of fresh. The wounds are still fresh. But you know what? I'm not going to let it take too much of my energy or time yes. for today. No more. No, no more. more. It is done. Cut cords. Bam. Out of here. So I wanted to um, go back, rewind. I know I'm, um, we already talked about this earlier, recapping the episode. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to share a comment or message from one of our listeners about last week's episode. Mm-hmm. Um, it's crazy because after I listened back and I heard myself say some of the things that I said, I automatically wanted to take it back out of fear of like being judged or being looked at as like a sucker or like like a weak person or something like that. But then one of our listeners wrote to me and she, I'm just read it so y'all can see what i'm talking about um so uh, once again last week we talked about uh being fulfilled outside of a relationship and i said that i um hmm, how do i put this i want a relationship like people i feel like the society we live in they push you to like have the career and have the that kind of thing before you look into like getting into a relationship but i don't know i just feel like that's not how i want my life to work Um, But I'm still kind of figuring that out a little bit. So anyways, let me read this um, from Earthly Lotus. She gave me permission to share. Um, She said, this week's episode, I related to Yuna so much about putting your all into your relationship. It's all I've ever wanted. A husband, a family is all I ever wanted. And my husband is the same way. So our relationship, we are all about each other, all about our kids. We have a couple friends, but I think because we're so all about our family circle, it intimidates those who can't relate. It's important to have your own thing, of course, but we are so um, content in our relationship. It doesn't bother us being with one another or our kids all the time, mostly if that makes sense. So I feel like when you are like a family unit person, there are people who um, there are people who don't understand that. And there are people who will kind of like bash your relationship because they don't understand that concept or because that concept doesn't fit into the mode of their lives. So they'll kind of, oh, she always with her man or, you know, she, she don't want to hang out with us because she's with her man. It's like, I mean, if this is what makes someone happy and if it's not in a, um, damaging way, you know, if they're not, if they're not, it's, if it's not an abusive way, then why does it bother you so much? I understand completely um, nourishing all the relationships around you. Um, but there are some times when you just want to be with your family. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So I just wanted to share that listener letter or however you want to say with you guys. So that is that. Being and her friend, I wrote a message to that. I knew she was going to share it on air. And I wanted to respond as myself. <laughs> Wait. So I said, I, Mariah, am not saying that there is anything wrong with wanting to ob- only obtain a relationship because I see that that is truly what you want to do out of life. And as a friend, I also see the struggles that you put and the pressure you put on yourself um, so that you can so that you can obtain that. I just wanted you to take a step back and know that it is okay that to work on that to obtain a relationship is okay. I don't know what I was, I was obviously typing really fast. Um, So I wanted you to be able to understand that it's okay to work on yourself. So when a guy comes around, you're already rooted in you and you know exactly what you want and you won't settle for anything less than what you want. You're able to see if that is exactly what he wants. And if not, he can be gone with the dust. Um, But I think spending time and cultivating yourself, you'll be able to pick somebody who's able to know that relationship is what you want. And they're able to be able to want the same exact thing. I'm crying, y'all. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't ever want you to feel as though, oh, this is wrong. I want a relationship. I just want you to know that, like, once you're, like, working on yourself and the guy comes around, you're like, okay, this is what the fuck. I want a relationship. You don't want that. Uh, 
that's too much for you okay cool well then i'm gonna go ahead to somebody who knows exactly that's what i want that's exactly what he wants and i'm not gonna have to keep on like going back and forth tic tac and trying to get you to pull you over here because i'm gonna meet me a guy that already wants that and he's gonna pull me over to where he's at yeah so. i think well thank you for writing that i'm oh, you're welcome, really friend. emotional about it um it was really sweet um i think that right now i'm like in a weird place um with the whole relationship thing um because of of course i've shared with you guys about my little bit about my last relationship and about you know the miscarriage and all that so it's like it's a lot of emotions that are like tied up in that relationship and so now i'm feeling like i do want a relationship but even the guy i'm talking to right now i'm like i i told him i don't want that and it's not right now it's just i think it's just like trying to protect myself and like trying to get all that i can get out of what the relationship is without like putting that title on it or expectation or something expectations on it or whatever um i do think um pouring into yourself is good i don't think nothing i don't think anything is wrong with that right but also being aware of other stuff you want yeah I don't. Th- I think that it's important, and I think that it's something that I'm like uh, pushing against. Like it's something that I'm like fighting against, which is weird. Just pouring into myself is something that I'm just kind of like fighting against right now. Gotcha. So I don't. I don't know what that's about. I'm exploring it. Give me time. At least you're exploring it. And you're aware. Yeah. Some people are like. I know. I know. I know a lot of things that are like bad about myself she always says i do i, I think i'm a, i'm I aware i think i'm really aware of the things that i need to work on some things i'm just like stubborn with and it's like i don't want to work on that but yeah that's i mean where has it gotten me kind of thing you know you. but off the emotional shit let's this get into podcast some is emotional <laughs> you already know every let's week this podcast some... is extra emotional i did not expect to cry today but you know here she is you know, um, so I have a question for you, um, so we can kind of switch gears. Mosey on in the mail and a message. All right. So what is one thing that your gut is telling you right now, um, in your life that you're like not listening to? Mm, I would think that my gut is telling me to leave, (laughs) Leave. To like leave Denver, yeah, and like, and I've been battling that for like years on the show. Like people who have been here since the past two and a half years, jeez, our podcast is almost old as hell. But um, yeah, I've talked about leaving to like New York with Michelle, our old podcast co-host. Hey, Michelle. Hey, girl. Um, and Nova, because you know you got the hey, phone Nova. and you run shit in the house. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so moving to um. New York and Michelle are moving kind of close over in D.C. or going to L.A. And I just don't ever go because I'm just like, what if, like, all these connections yeah, that I'm making. Yeah, I'm always trying to rationalize this. Yeah, I'm always trying to rationalize, like, well, wait, 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 wait. But mm-hmm. here I just made a new friend or I made a new connection. I can I can really cultivate the space here and I can really grow here, too. Or I'm like, okay, actually, I'm going to really move. But wait, 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 I just met a new person, and, like, yeah. I'm going to cultivate that relationship, and then this can stem from that, and then that can really bloom, or I can do the things that I want to do here. I don't need to move somewhere else. But then I'm also like, but that's, there's nothing wrong with leaving and coming back. And I'm like, okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait but <laughs> I don't even know where I want to go. Like, yeah, D.C. or New York or L.A. I can't live in all three places. Which are the ones that I want to go to? Or – Maybe this is just cool to go visit there, and I've only ever vacationed there, and I don't know how to actually live there full time. Like I always like talk myself out of like moving to a city because I'm like I don't know how it's gonna be full time. I love when I go vacay there. I love that. I love the scene then when I go vacay. But I don't know how it is to like have a job there. I'm like oh well, I apply for jobs there. I didn't get a job there. I don't want to go there without a job. So it's just like always something. That's literally so that's how my fast answer. my negative mind talks to me. Literally, <laughs> like. <laughs> I know you got a happy thought, bitch, but have you thought about this? <laughs> yeah, that's... Have you thought about this, Literally though? me. And it be rational stuff. It's not like it's crazy, like, 
most times well sometimes it's like bitch how what are the chances of that actually happening but sometimes it is real like you don't have a job going there you literally uproot your life to go and possibly get a job but you don't have one you don't have one that's relocating you you're literally going to uproot your life and with the hopes of maybe possibly finding a job right maybe possibly yeah um i heard something that is like your conscious is telling you what you should do and then your intuition is telling you what you could do gotcha. so i feel like that conscious mind is that white and black mm-hmm. kind of thing mm-hmm. and that your um intuition is like that gray area gotcha. like this could be this you know this could be that and your heart is full of light and <laughs> colors like no I'm kidding wait <laughs> but probably who knows <laughs> um so as, wait do you want me to answer yeah, the question yeah <laughs> Um, so it's so crazy that you said that because I, my intuition or my gut right now is telling me to go. It's crazy so the that same you thing. said leave, but mine is saying go. Um, both go and like travel, even if that means alone. I keep saying it, but you I do want to like, travel alone. I mean, I don't want to travel alone, but I want to travel, and it's like. I got to go alone because yeah. nobody's really about that life. Right, kind of thing. Um, and then go like. There are places that I want to move. I I really wanted to move to L.A., but I just, something changed. Like, I just. I know what changed. I don't, that too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what changed. That, I just, I, I don't know. know. Like, I think I love to visit there, but I don't know if I want to live there. I don't think. Yeah. I just, I don't, I just don't think that it's where I want to live anymore. Um, So, I've been thinking New York or D.C. too. I think that. I think that I think that DC or New York would fit you. I think that DC maybe because it's it's not slow paced because it's still city life, mm-hmm. but it's slower than New York. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I feel like everybody in New York is mean. <laughs> so I'm like, well, they're oh, no. they're very assertive. <laughs> very assertive for sure. They yeah. gonna say how they feel, <laughs> which is why it fits Michelle so well. Like she can thrive there. I just feel like everybody. She be getting. She I mean, done. I just feel like they're all like stone faced. Like you never know what how they feel on the inside. And then I feel like there are some people who will make you think that they give a fuck, and they really don't. Like mm-hmm. I, I feel like I've dealt with a, a few people like that from New York. Mm-hmm. I'm not judging y'all. I'm just saying my experiences and what I've been through. Most of them will make you think that they care about what you're going through or what your life, and they don't at all okay. so that aspect like angel going angel when we listen to this episode like well move to richmond virginia <laughs> <laughs> she swears like that's her favorite I'm place not, to ever go with richmond virginia i've never been there and i've never like had an urge to want to go there mm-hmm. but shit i'm open to it i'm make open to try visit. it yeah girl make a trip for us cultivate a trip for us okay um so as you may have guessed this episode is going to be about going with your gut or mm-hmm. your following your intuition um, if you don't know what that means, <clears throat> I looked it up for you. Um, so what does it mean to go with your gut? You could have clear logical reasons for making a decision, but something is holding you back. Going with your gut is bypassing logic and trusting your instinct without knowing why. So that is what it means to go with your gut. Um, have you, ha- do you have an instance where you feel like you went with your gut instead of going with with what everybody else was saying or going with like what your mind was trying to convince you to go in the direction with that I didn't go I went with my gut instead mm-hmm. any have you tell me about an instance where you've dealt with going with with your gut either you went with it or you did it um I'm not caught you off guard yeah a little bit you go first no because I've been asking first this whole time you really haven't though I answered first the last question because I asked it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I think my gut told me to come here, um, come to Denver. Oh, I was about to say, I know you lying. I no. thought you meant today. <laughs> I was like, I know you lying coming to the studio. I mean, my gut told me to hit Devin up to get him to be our producer, our engineer. Absolutely. So, <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Um. Hmm, I think my gut told us that that one engineer was going to leave us in the dirt. A while ago? Uh, like, before I'm, it even happened. Not recently, or are you talking about a while ago? I'm talking about um, a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
my gut was telling me that i don't know just their energy was wrong Mm -hmm. i guess and i was like something's about to happen like some kind of shift is like about to happen like i think he's about to like dump us and then we got a message saying that he dumped us and then my intuition told me michelle was gonna leave us too okay you was right and she did i mean we're not i'm not upset about it you know I'm just saying. She's not dad. upset about Michelle. She's upset about the other one for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, your turn. So you you went with your gut. That wasn't going with the, Oh, to come here to Colorado. That was Yeah. Really uh-huh. My gut told me to come here. Gotcha. To, um, and it was like a quick decision. Like, I was like, I'm moving in like the next month I, I left. Yeah. Um, now, the whole idea of what i thought was going to happen didn't happen as far as like me staying here to save money to move to la however i did get a chance to visit la from being here um and like i said i do love it but i don't know if i want to live there maybe the outskirts but like san diego or something because i mean or the bay i feel like la oof, the bay is expensive um but like san diego like the i, I just know. feel like the cult i just feel like it's the it's not like what you're looking for yeah she basically trying to say there ain't a lot of <laughs> never mind. I'm not gonna say it. Go ahead, just say it, girl. No, it's cool. Rolls eyes. I'm not going to. Anyways, speak can you give truth. your answer, please? Um, <laughs> I'm waiting. So I got a cosigner over here, cosigner Yuna. But um, anyway, so my answer is I went with my gut in a few instances when I can't really be. I don't have a great memory, so I ain't gonna hold y'all. My memory is like shot, and I don't know why. But um. Recently, that something happened in the past year that I can remember, remember is that I went to work one day and I was talking to all the people on my team that I knew knew about stocks. Cause I'm like, I got some stocks and if I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave with my money. So I went to every person that I knew that knew about stocks and like withholding, I mean, withdrawing them from the company and all that stuff. I'm like, so when can you do it this day? When can I collect my cash? When can I do this, this, this? And I was like, bet, appreciate your time. And then I went to my desk and I started packing my desk. And then on my lunch break, I took all my shit from my desk, put it in my trunk. And then um, I had a meeting with my um, manager later that day. Cause she asked me to have a meeting with me the day prior, and, and the day prior is when I made up my mind to pack my desk and stuff. Cause I'm like, I'm about to quit. Cause I'm tired of having this same conversation with you, sis. Just fire me, or I'm gonna quit. So, I um, went into the mirror. I told y'all early in the show, I don't like maybes. I like nos or yeses, um, unless it's something different. But if it's a workplace environment, just give it to me straight. So, anyways, went to the meeting with her. She was talking about all that, all that other shit. You know what I mean? Trying to be cordial but basically like letting me know that my time was limited at the company and I was like bet see you feel it get it understand so I um left the meeting with her feeling refreshed because I knew exactly what I was going to say the next day when I quit went to my computer finished out my couple hours you know logged my time because I definitely need those hours on my check to pop up come through and so I was gonna um I was walking into my um office that the next day after the conversation with her to fi- get I guess quit or whatever because I, like, I already know it's coming so let me leave before I um get left <laughs> and I, I spoke to my friend Delina shout out to Delina I don't know if she's even still there but shout out to you because she stopped me like why the fuck you about to leave bitch you know you about to get that on the plane I'm trying to say let the fire let the fire you bitch because I know you're struggling I know you're struggling you're so annoying I was like you're right. So I just <laughs> sat at my desk for like an hour or so, got to my desk, and sure enough, the manager was like, can I speak to you? The, well, my team leader, like, can I speak to you? And then we go across, the, we um, turn the corner to go into the room. Bitch, why the fuck my higher ups, all the higher ups are in the room like, this is your last day. <laughs> and here goes HR to talk to you about le- like plans to leave. Um but I'm not even mad because at least I got to have my insurance for the remainder of the month. Um, I got to get my stocks, and they even gave me a um, like a settlement check. I don't I don't know the proper term for it, I can't think of right now. But they gave me a settlement check, which I'm so ever grateful for because I got this settlement check, and on top of that, my month's pay for the that month, um, which was able to allow me to save and kind of think of my next my next move. And I was able to get an appointment due to the nature of me being fired. So I went with my gut with almost quitting, but God was like, I got you. Mm. I go ahead and <laughs> going to get fired. But 
you know, you're going to be able to get some compensation from that. All these years of you being, you know, having a bad mental breakdowns at work and all this stuff, you're going to be rewarded in some way, which I was. So I went with my gut and almost quitting, but got fired instead. So so it's crazy that you brought God, God into this conversation. Were you um, going to bring that up? Huh? Were you going to bring that up? Maybe. Okay. So um, do you think that... I don't know, when you get that feeling in your gut, do you think that it's like a scientific, biological reasoning why as to why? Or do you feel like it's like God like telling you? I mean, I think it's I think it's both, a little of both, because I don't know. I think it's a little, obviously it's like scientifically certain organs are you know in there doing their thing when you start to feel away but maybe you're feeling away because something is telling you to feel away Mm -hmm. i don't know yeah um but yeah that's a good question girl Um, i never really thought about that but i would say a little bit of both what do you think so i did a little bit of research on the going with your gut kind of thing um i am terrible at explaining research but um so there is some chemical thing that happens like in your brain or your body and it kind of um like warms your body up or Mm kind of makes that feeling happen in your stomach and it's um it's your unconscious mind telling you to do or not do whatever that is versus your conscious mind and your unconscious mind is also um where your prior experiences lie so it's like sometimes that gut intuition is based off of prior experiences, but not in the same way that your conscious mind would kind of like mm, uh, explain that that uh, scenario kind gotcha. of thing. So I feel like your gut is like your unconscious mind and then your conscious mind is like your, the reasoning part of you kind of thing. Anyways, moving on. Um, do you think that you do a good job of following your gut? Um, obviously no, because like I said, it's been years <laughs> I've been wanting to leave and I still have yet to, um, and I've always like talked myself out of it. So I would say no, for sure. That is one of the reasons. Another is because although I am very, um, I think I am very, um, lackadaisy when it comes to everybody else. I'm just like, yes, <laughs> you can do it. You're what? Lackadaisy. Fuck. What is that? Siri, what is black to Daisy? <laughs> I've never heard that before. Um, is that some kind of like <laughs> she? No, the fact that she's looked at me like I was crazy. Who, just, Siri or me? No, you. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the f- fuck is that? I don't, I don't know what that is, but I gotta look it up now. Mara's gonna look that up for us because I'm super confused on that. Um, hmm. So, I don't know fast. So go ahead. Did you? F- I said, hold on, real fast, and I said, go ahead. So go ahead. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, so the outline that I had prepared for this episode is. Oh no, co- never mind. Sorry, that's not what I am. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what it says. <laughs> Suck a laugh. That's not what I am uh, when it comes to others' um, stuff. But the definition of lack of daisy is someone lacking spirit or interest. Oh. Um, an example of someone who would be described as lackadaisical is a person who makes a disinterest and a half-hearted attempt at his schoolwork or her schoolwork. Wow, that's like me. It's crazy. At your schoolwork or in life? In life. So you're someone I've who ne- lacks spirit or interest in life? I've never put 100% in anything. That's crazy. I've never put 100% in anything. Why? Um, it's like crickets right here. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that <laughs> <laughs> don't do me like that oh my gosh don't do me like that oh that's funny um what's the opposite of that is there like a antonym oh, um <laughs> let me see because that's what i am <laughs> did somebody fuck? call you that like why did you um i think i it was just like a term that i used in like a college paper i was like she's very like did i use it right I don't know. Did I get a B plus? I absolutely did. So, well, hey, I don't know. <sighs> um, antonym. I would say hard worker. I guess I'm trying to look for an antonym. Okay, here it is. Let me see. Oh, hard worker. Mm-hmm. Um, 
they back have her adult energy. It's not giving me oh antonyms: active, energetic, interested, lively, careful, caring, enthusiastic, and hardworking. So I was kind of right. So I want to retract my statement. Okay, there are sometimes <laughs> like if I'm at work, sure. But other times I'd be like, Ugh, I just got gotcha. you. Like going grocery shopping or clothes shopping, not a hundred percent. Is that what you're saying? You just be like, you go, you're the type of person that goes into the store and be like, I know what I came for. I'm about to leave. You're not trying to stay hours in the store. No. Fair. That's. I don't know. If that's like Daisy, but no, I don't know. I guess it is this interested. You're not interested in staying there for hours on end, looking at multiple clothing options. You just come for what you come for and leave when you're ready to leave. Fair. You, I'm like so thrown off right now. What? Because that's me. Well, unless it comes to jeans shopping, because with jeans, I have to like sit there and try them on. Because I've been disappointed in jeans before. I'll buy them and I'm like, oh, this is the size I wore. I guess that's the size I wore last year because they don't fit. And now I'm mad and I have to go back to the store and try on a new pair of jeans. I could have just stayed there initially and tried on the jeans versus going home. So, yeah, but I hate staying in the store shopping. Now that I go to Cherry Creek Mall and then they give you an hour, it's kind of like limited and whatever. I really want someone to teleport me out of here right now. What the <laughs> hell is going on? <laughs> Devin, help me. I'm not understanding. Help us, okay? Help us. <laughs> what is going on? Did you want to take away? Do you want to be energetic now? No, not the Daisy anymore. That word. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'd be like, eh, it's certain fine. Things. Yeah, gotcha. Certain things. Um. Oh yeah. So another thing, <laughs> <laughs> she was very interested in that. <laughs> Bro, this dude he's so okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I think another thing that I think my gut is telling me right now, which I was kind of confused about. I really thought that I should go back to school because money. Mm-hmm. Um, but something, something, my intuition, my gut is telling me not yet. Mm. Um, I feel like there's something, something else that I should be doing right now, and and that's just not it. So that's another thing that my gut is telling me. So do you know what that other thing is? No. Mm mm. Hmm. Maybe when I move, I'll find it. It could be catering for me every now and again. Let that She's dream a cook. die. Let that dream die. Let it die. Well, not a cook, a chef. I hate. Hmm. Cook sounds like I just whip something up real Can fast. Can we get into comments with Mariah, please? No, we're not gonna get into comments with Mariah because, because the reason we have Una Dish is because she's is a chef. So, are we gonna. Whatever. Do you have a question for Combo's Mariah this week? I don't know. I feel like he's talking it. about friends. So, this week, I actually, like I said, it's definitely not a part of the conversation, but we're gonna get into another topic so we can kind of migrate away from this one for now. Um, but, Combo's Mariah, earlier in the week, I asked you all um, a few things. Ooh, I have so, something to add to Combo's Mariah, too. So, bet. What is com? Oh, okay. So, do you know what I'm even asking for comments of Mariah? No. So, I don't know if you're... You, okay. I mean, I have something to add to your segment. I asked a question. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Um, comments of Mariah, I asked you all, what is your signature scent? Like, what's the scent that you put on? Could you, like, you about to put on that shit? <sighs> And um, the reason why I ask this question is because I like when people smell nice, and I like to smell nice. So I ask everybody, like, what y'all be smelling like? So I can go to Sephora and kind of <laughs> look at some samples. You're annoying. Um, so Atiana Ware, hey, Ati. She says, classic scent by Burberry. I haven't tried the classic scent. Um, I've only tried Brit, but I'm open to trying that. Um, Rachel said, sweet pea and... Um, my friend Sumali said, sorry, so her ad name on Instagram is going to be S-U-M-A-A-Y-A-A-L-Y. Says she loves a bombshell at Victoria's Secret. That's her go-to scent. And then Earthly Lotus. Hey, Autumn. Hey, girl. Says, I love Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret. And here's what I'll say. <clears throat> on, like, a body sprays, I don't think that I'm a fan of them anymore versus, like, just spraying them, like, on my clothes or, like, spraying them on, like, bedding or just spraying them in the air to, like, have a... Uh, room deodorizer only reason why is because they don't last long and so i'm like 
I like need like actual like oil and like a perfume to like hold in the scent just because body sprays don't tend to work for me long. But I do really enjoy the spraying them on my clothes and just like on my bedding. So and I do love um bombshell of Victoria's Secret because I have like a body scrub from them that's in the bombshell scent and it smells really good and it lasts a long time. Um and then uh, Earthly Lotus Autumn also said essential oils would be her go to as well eucalyptus lavender rosemary and peppermint and i love all of those scents too like essential oils are the wave um and sin flower flollicking said that rose is that someone's instagram name yeah wow my friend cynthia flower flollicking is her name wow. she is an um la photographer so if you're ever looking for some dope ass shots hit her up um but she said rose so i don't know if this means like rose as in like like a rose like essential oil or like an actual like rose Perfect. from like a a brand oh. so i was gonna like ask her on a download like uh so what you mean um and then my friend Ashi said versace blue so this is for the guys and then fat boy is slim a very very loyal listener of melanie voices podcast so shout out to you said mason margella by the fireplace and that is literally my boyfriend's favorite scent is Jazz Club by uh, Mason Margiela, but I get him both um, by the fireplace because that's my favorite, and he loves Jazz Club. And they're so good, but they're so expensive. They sound expensive. It's like 125 per bottle. <laughs> so um, if he could just lower his standards a little bit so my pockets ain't got to suffer, that'd be great, but he's probably not. And then my boyfriend's sister said Mark Jacobs Daisy is her go-to scent. Wow. And here I am putting on roll on every day. And, but it, but <laughs> what is it though? What roll on is it? Dep- it I, depends on what smells good. To be honest, but I mean, it's a roll. I have roll on scents too. Like that, I go to like Sprouts or like natural grocers, and mm-hmm. they have like Kumba's a good one, or they have like the Zoom scent that you can roll on, mm-hmm. and it's like twelve dollars, and it lasts really long time. So I oil. usually go to like the African markets, or um, yeah, when I was in when I was in college, the. Uh, I don't even know what he's called, but he sells like perfumes and stuff. He, right. You know how Africans be selling. They be just selling shit. So he brought he his shit to the union every Wednesday. So I would just buy whatever roll on smelled good. Yeah. So that's, that's me too. Like I love the zoom, um, lavender, um, it's at natural grocers. It's like $12 for like a three ounce. Mm-hmm. It's really good. And then, um, there's like lush. They have, um, breath of god and like karma i it's like a solid perfume so you can literally like roll it onto your skin or you can like take some out of the you know seen it it's kind of like, like a chapstick bottle but it's not it's like a scent yeah and it smells really good like some people are asking me like what you get i'm like most of the time it's low-key something that's under 20 dollars. it's like essential oil unless it's like i was bringing out from lush you said? from lush the breath of god and karma is from lush but um most of the time it's like essential oils like you said like roll-ons from like Natural groceries or something. Gotcha. <clears throat> and it'd be smelling good too. And it'd be lasting. And you can just throw it in your purse. Because you're little tiny little roll ons. But what do you do when it's like starts getting low? Do you just get it with your finger now? With the, uh, the oil? Mm-hmm. Or the, the breath of God? The breath of God. I just began using it, so I guess I'll find that out as uh, I go. Well, but I'm know. sure I'm going to take it with. I'm going to take my finger and put it in that jar and. Get my get my money worth. <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> I had no shame in my game. Oh, be using my that gosh. shit to it. Okay. Yeah, thank I'll you. be using that for quite some time. Thank so. you for sharing that. Yeah, absolutely. So, thank you guys for sharing and tuning into Kamas of Mariah. Woo, woo! I was gonna say something, but it didn't come to me fast enough. I was gonna say something about you be you not being laxadaisy, laxadaisical, laxaday. I I agree. I definitely don't think that I am You're not. in most things, but you never know. Yes. So um let's do you dish real quick. Ting, sizzle. Little scrapes. So did you ever want like the sizzle for the food or did you want the the spoons? Cause I always have when like your unit dish comes on, I always mm-hmm. have like spoon scraping like a plate. That's the background. I like I that, the scraping plate thing. Okay. I feel like it's multi-purposed. Okay. So, I realized that I have not been following my gut in life. 
Um, like you, I, when I think, when I feel something, I always try to like rationalize it. So I end up doing like the less the opposite or the more safe option. Yeah. I always end up doing the more safe thing. And I think that's led me to like being very, um, kind of like stagnant or like hopeless in a way, because I feel like once you start like rationalizing everything, I feel like your life would be very black and white. And to me that just seems so like terrible you know it seems so yeah so um uh boring or so unfulfilled so i'm going to let you guys know that i'm challenging myself to go with my gut more often and um we'll see how that turns out and i mean it because in life um i even my gut even told me to pledge when i was in college but i didn't because i was scared it can you imagine like what my life, I feel like my life would be totally different if I would have done that. Yeah. Um, I think it's because some, sometimes it's like when you try stuff and you don't, it doesn't turn out the way you think it should. Or when you go out for a position and you don't get it, I think it's easy for that to kind of like bring you down or for the, for that to be like, okay, this is why I shouldn't try. And I'm, I'm tired of doing that shit. So I, y'all, go, y'all gotta be my accountability partners. I'm going with my gut from now on, and that's that. <sighs> okay. Well, we would definitely hold you accountable yes. if you let us know what it is. And y'all, I promise, I'm not trying to be sorry, sap, sue. It just, I just low key feel like there's people out there sorry, who are Sally. It's just sad, you know. I just feel like there are people out there who are going through similar things and may be in the same mindset mind state as I am. And there are times when I'm like, no, I don't want to share how sad I am or how like hopeless I feel because I don't want people to think I'm a Debbie Downer. But just being real, I know that there are people out there who feel helpless and hopeless. Yeah, who can use your truth? Yeah, and I feel like I I stand with you guys. You know, I I want you to know that I'm here for you and shit. I hope you're there for me too. Fuck. To be to be and all the way real, shit together, shit. and we're gonna get through this together. <sighs> we gonna make it out, okay? Um, so right. black business. <laughs> guess who our black business is? Us. Us. It's us. It's us. So, so um, yeah, it's Melon Voices podcast. Support us, just us. Remember that episode we had? Support us, just us. But um, <laughs> no, seriously, support us. Yes, so you can leave us a review on the Apple Podcast app yeah. and also SoundCloud. You can leave a comment on one of the po- our posts. You SoundCloud. can leave a Probably comment. You can use a review on there. Unfortunately, you can leave a comment on SoundCloud. You can leave a comment on YouTube. You can um, share our Instagram. Follow our Instagram. Yes, and thank you to those who actually do do this. Like Alethea has been doing it a lot. Oh yes, friend thank Kayla you so much. Has been doing it often. Angel always. <laughs> What I want to laugh? What? <laughs> no, I'm just talking about. What she was like, and tell him. Like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yes. Um, so yeah, um, Angel, and just all of our friends, honestly. That, yes. That, that share that share our stuff. Um, we really, really, really appreciate you. Um, but we're just saying, move it out the DM and move it on to the Apple Podcast review. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like when you do a review, I feel like that bumps us up. So where people search stuff like will come up sooner. Yeah. If they That's exactly what happens. Yeah. See? See, I be knowing what the fuck I be talking about. And um, if you have anything bad to say, just DM us. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in the DM. Don't write a D- <laughs> don't write a review on that. Just DM us. We can rectify the situation from there. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Keep it off the timeline. Keep it off the timeline. Um, but no, seriously, if yes. you like the podcast and you really want to get the word out for us, we'd really appreciate help as in leaving us a review or sharing it with a friend or family member that's like, I listen to podcasts, you know any new ones? Yeah, my friend's got this podcast. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to say your friends. You could say, I know this podcast called Melon of Voices or right. whatever or um, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, or is that survey still up? Our survey is still up. Go it's to our, our survey. www.melaninvoices.com. It was literally on our homepage so you really cannot miss it. Um, that's it. That's all. And thank you for those who have been filling it out. We got a lot of ladies. Guys, fill it Ew. out. We'd like for your feedback as well. Yes. So, all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Y'all. But, yes. <laughs> I think this is a good idea to have a back business be us because I think that is very 
nice to give people their roses and to highlight them as well but it's also good to give some back to yourself highlight your damn so that self. was nice you know to make this the black business mm-hmm. i wouldn't have thought of to done that so yeah because we are a black business and you know y'all should support us absolutely and we should get the spotlight shown upon us absolutely so yes yeah, support us and that's all we have for this week guys um thank you for tuning in and go with your gut this week that's your i take feel away? like that was so cliche that was your takeaway yeah um go with your, go gut. With your gut go with your gut that's it what do you, do you have any My final takeaway mm-hmm. is to be aware of your feelings so if you're feeling bad and you are feeling upset and you're feeling like, wow, I don't even know what my gut is saying. Sit with that, revel in that, and then you can come out of that when you are ready to. But don't feel pressured. Yeah. And if you feel like you can't hear your gut, that's a good sign that you need to ground yourself mm-hmm. and kind of pull yourself out of mm, a lot of social situations and just kind of spend some time with yourself, spend some time in nature. Um, that way you can hear it a little bit easier if you're if it's a little cloudy and you're like, I don't know what it's saying, if it's just saying this or saying that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's fair. It. You said she said spend time in nature. I would suggest um <laughs> <laughs> if you are like me, do not <laughs> typically go out into nature take often. Take a bath. Um, take a nice hot bath or a nice shower or, um mm-hmm. you clean. Honestly, decluttering your home or decluttering your things around oh, you yeah. can help declutter your mind too. Mm-hmm. So Amen. yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Leave us a like, comment, or review on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and SoundCloud where you can stream our podcast from those platforms. And uh, yeah, we love you guys. Bye. Bye, everyone.